Hi gang! This is called a gravity light, so called because it powers a small light using gravity. These two falling masses, two water bottles, falling due to gravity provide all the energy. And as you see, it's enough light to read by. How does it work? As these two masses fall, they pull on this chain, which slowly turns one of these sprockets down here. That of course turns the whole bicycle wheel. The wheel's outer rim acts as a big pulley, turning this small pulley, which in turn turns this small generator. And wires go from that generator to this LED, which provides the light. The reason for the bicycle wheel is that the slowly falling masses turn these sprockets slowly. But the big outer rim of the wheel is turning faster than the small sprockets. That faster speed is passed on to this small pulley, so that we can get the necessary speed to run the generator. So the slow falling of the masses is converted to faster turning of the generator. The gravity light was invented by two fellows from Desiwatt. These folks did a lot of engineering to make one that could be used in remote villages, instead of using kerosene burning lamps for light. As you can see, mine is bulkier, but still very easy to assemble. Once assembled, it can be moved easily around the room. It runs for only two minutes before needing to be reset, but that's okay. I made this one just to see if I could make one. From what I'm learning, I'll try to make a longer lasting one later. To start it going again, I simply lift the masses back up and give the wheel a slight turn. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more fun videos like this. That includes one showing how I made this gravity light, another on my much more advanced gravity light, one that runs for longer, and for another nifty weird construction of mine, see my solar site survey tool, something I actually did invent. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, leave a question, or comment below. See you in a bit.